uh, representing the dead, there were two Okay, everyone, please uh, come closer. Uh, come closer to the banner here. Uh, don't stand too far because uh, you're going to be out of the shot. Um, and uh, you can see here today is a beautiful day. We have uh, so many people from different parts of the neighborhood coming. That shows that we are serious, right? We are serious in stopping the towers, right? So, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, I want to give you some updates on the Two Bridges fight. So, first of all, as all of you uh, might know, that the judge issued a decision uh, on Friday. In it, it very clearly says that the mayor's approval of the towers are wrong, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah? <laughs> what does it show? Huh? It shows that the, what the mayor is doing is so wrong, it's so unpopular, it's so unethical, that the only reasonable decision is to strike it down, right? Yeah. This could not have happened without so many people coming out, without a united community coming out to hold the city accountable. So we see this part of the decision is quite good. Yay. But on the other hand, we are not deceived by, in, into believing that the Euro process will save us from this luxury development, right? No! And uh, you know the, the reason why? Because uh, we have to look at who is on top of this Euro process. And uh, can you tell me who is in, who, who is in this Euro process? Who is pushing this Euro process? So, it's very clear from the beginning that Margaret Chen has no intention of stopping the towers. She, at the beginning, to say that nothing we can do, so at best we uh, serve some crumbs. But we are here today to show that we refuse to be put to sleep. We want to say that we will continue to fight because we have no faith in these corrupt elected officials who, in the end, is only going to get what the Blasio wants all along, which is to get the towers approved. Do we want the towers approved? No! Do we want the towers approved? No! Well, some, it seems like many elected officials don't know what the community wants or they refuse to know what the community wants. Well, for some, I think we can give them a benefit of a doubt, like the Council Speaker Corey Johnson. So, let's let this elected official hear what we want. Do we want to tell us? No! Do we want to tell us? So repeat out to me, no towers! No towers! No compromise! No compromise! No towers! No towers! No compromise! No compromise! So like I said before, so like I said before, this cannot be achieved without so many people coming out to say no to the towers, to demand that the community want protection. So first, let's let's uh, have uh, Tony Quaylen, uh, tenants of 82 Ruckers, to come out and say, say a few words. Let's welcome Tony. Good afternoon, everybody, and congratulations because you're the reason that we're winning the fight for Two Bridges, our neighborhood, our community. Chinatown, the Lower East Side, and eventually all of New York City. But now we must prepare to take on Dollar Bill de Blasio, his administration, his rich developer buddies, and all the other politicians, Margaret Chen included, who claim to be on our side. The ones who have the key votes and voices in a broken process called ULERP. The ones who said that it was a done deal and tried to discourage us so there would be no fight for two bridges. The ones who said they support these projects in a public hearing and would have us take some measly crumbs to take from us our right to light, air, parks, and the health of our kids and seniors and our families. 
The ones who said our community developed Chinatown Working Group rezoning plan was too ambitious and continued to deny us equality in protecting our neighborhood for many years. The ones who continuously decide to continuously decide to divide our neighborhood, our community, and our city, and to twist and bend and obscure the truth. We can't stop here, and I'm urging you now, today, to continue to resist and join the fight and get more involved in saving one of the best, if not the best, and one of the last affordable neighborhoods in the city. Two bridges. Here, here. We need everyone to step up now, to volunteer, to help us, to help yourselves. We're rallying, we're petitioning, we're postering, we're flying, we're door knocking, and we're talking to our neighbors in our neighborhood and our community. And together we are going to win this fight. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tony, for your powerful speech. Tony has been the leader in fighting against the Two Bridges Towers, so he's been an inspiration for so many of us. And he's been a unifying force because he understands that the same thing happens across the community. It happens right across the streets. Uh, behind you guys, uh, the press, you, you see LaGuardia houses. Uh, the city is planning to uh, privatize it. Uh, so unless we all come together, right? And uh, a few a few blocks away, we have uh, tenants facing eviction, all because we have no protection here, the no uh, protection to to uh, set a high limits on the whole area, so that luxury developments can come in and get what they want. And we see that the Blasio uh, has been, you know, really friendly with the developers, and that's you know the outcome of it. Uh, so next we have uh, Luis uh, from Nitro Tenants to say a few words. Hi everybody, my name is Louise Velez. I have been a resident of the Lower East Side all my life. I raised my family in Jacob Reed's houses and love my neighborhood, but I'm concerned about our neighborhood and our community being destroyed and that we will be displaced. I am enraged by the city and de Blasio's displacement agenda and Margaret Chin selling out our community to private developers. These luxury mega towers they want to build are one horrifying example. These towers would hurt working class people with low income, especially with living with people living on social security and disability. New York City Housing Authority, where I have lived for 38 years, have built with purpose of, of being a good affordable place to raise your family. But in the last decades, the city has been letting it fall apart on purpose in order to privatize it. Because of the city's neglect, people are forced to live in toxic conditions with lead, with lead mold, and rats the size of cats. Now the city is not displacing us, but they're destroying our environment. Now with the so-called East River Resilience Plan, they are threatened to rob us of our green areas and close our parks to make it nice for the rich moving in. They will also pollute our air with construction, the same way they hurt the tenants of two bridges with the constructions of Excel Towers. For years, we've been fighting for the Chinatown Working Group plan and the city has ignored us. My message is that we cannot stop this. This is our life or death. Now more than ever, we need to stay strong in the fight and not stop until we get it. Yeah. We need to send a strong message to the city. Pass the Chinatown Working Group plan. Do we want to try to have a working group plan? Yeah. So, like I said before, we have the petition going on, which is our crucial next step to get the community involved and tell the city to stop the towers and give us the protection. So, as you can see here, the, we have the table and the petition we have been starting uh, some time ago. Uh, we urge everyone to join, uh, to join our fights, to join our petitioning, tell your neighbors about this. And this is a life and death matter, and you can see that it's not only in the Two Bridges community, but the whole neighborhood of Chinatown and the Lower East Side. So that's 
why we need the full plan. Whether you live in Niger, whether you live in two bridges neighborhood, whether you live in Chinatown, whether you live in Alpha City, that's the we have the same concern, and so we need to pass the full plan. So next, let's welcome Fran, uh, East Broadway tenants, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry. Thank you all for being here. It's amazing to see so many neighbors. Hi, neighbor. Um, we've been fighting for this for more than a decade, really. Listen and look at the Chinatown Working Group Plan. A lot of communi uh, community organizations came together and they work on this plan for years with the help of two planning schools, CUNY and then Pratt Planning. And we came up with a plan and our city administration has systematically ignored us over and over and over. Oh. Yeah. Let's look for example over here where they're proposing towers of nine, between 70 and 90 stories high. It, right here in this area, our plan says that the top high should be 35 uh, stories, not 70. Okay, for example, where I live in a few blocks that way in Chinatown, um, our plan for that area has set a seven story limit height. Right now, we see that in the building department, there are developers filing, uh, filing a new building on 59 Henry with 19 stories high. In a place that the community already came to a consensus that seven stories high should be what we have here. So over and over, we're being put at the end of the line, we're being ignored, and this has to stop. And we're gonna keep growing, uh, till we're gonna expand, you're gonna see more people coming the next time, and we're not gonna take it anymore. Um, that's right. Um, this is absolutely unfair. We see other other resorting taking priority. Uh, for example, we saw the East Village. They are protected. You can't build a skyscraper in this village. For a decade, we've been working on this. For a decade. Uh, and we really believe that this is a chance for this whole neighborhood to come together and be protected as a whole. Not repeating the exclusions that we've seen before. China on the Low East Side are standing together and, and we cry after this plan and that's what one enacted already. Um, so thank you for being here and we're going to continue organizing. We're not going to stop. Um, neighbors, artists, all kinds of groups. Uh, who's next? Thank you, friend. As you can see, we are a very diverse group of people and uh, we will not be divided by the city hall, by Mayor de Blasio. As you can see, the city has been trying to divide us, right? They're trying to say it's impossible to pass the full plan, so why not just get a little crumbs out of it? Why not get a small part out of it in the exclusion of the larger part of the community? And here we can see the city's dirty trick playing and uh, with the market chain. So they would say, let's pass the waterfront rezoning. No. And people would ask, then what, what about the NYCHA? It's right across the street, it's unprotected. What about Chinatown? What about Alphabet City? And what about the East River Park and all these different components of the neighborhood? So we will not let the city divide us. They will let us believe that we need to choose either one of them. They need to choose, oh, you're just asking for too much. But you see how long have we come together to fight for so long. And you see that we're still fighting and the towers still not be built. And we believe that it, they will not be built because we have people power, right? Yeah. Next, let's welcome the Henry Street tenants. Yeah, 
um, so this is uh, Mrs. Gao. Uh, she say she live with live at uh, Henry Street for 30 years. Um, right now, the landlord um, she facing the eviction. Landlord try to kick her out. Uh, you uh, also like uh, increase the rent a lot, uh, also to their tenants, not just about her, and also the same landlord. Many tenants they come together right now. They also they say um, they try to build. Right now they try to build four mega tower. They will continue like. Uh, Getting word, then push them out. You know, she say uh, she getting so old. Where can I move? Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, also, um, Henry Street tenants uh, will have a press conference on the Wednesday, August seven, in front of the landlord's office. So we will invite everyone, you know, to join us fight, fight against this landlord. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, il um, 11, uh, 10 30, 10 30 at the Henry Street, to, uh, Canal Street, 207, Canal Street. Thanks. So like I said before, right, we will not allow the city to defy us. The city tried to defy us along the race lines. Again, pit Chinese against blacks and Latino, pit the old against the young, pit, uh, you know, whoever against whoever, right? Uh, but uh, we say that we have a unified vision and that's the Chinatown Working Group rezoning plan. So next, uh, I will have Howard Branstein, who's going to talk about the East River Park, also a, a main concern in our community. Thank you. It's great to be here, and I was so happy to hear this news of the judge's decision on Friday. For many years, we on the East Village have been supporting the struggle against the mega towers in Lower East Side in Chinatown. I'm the director of Sixth Street Community Center, and we're happy to be very much a part of this coalition. Um, when I look at, yeah, right on. So when I look at uh, the city's actual plan, I'm looking at this park right here, and they've obviously confused the residents of Manhattan with sardines, because how are we gonna squeeze a uh, 60 or 70 story tall building in this park? Don't we need light and air? It seems like uh, one would question where Mayor de Blasio has come up with this kind of crazy plan for our neighborhoods. In the East Village, we also, as it's been mentioned, had a plan for the East River Park, which we worked on for th three years. The city recently just shoved that aside and is forcing down our throats a plan to destroy the entire East River Park, which will also affect the people in this community. The city wants to completely demolish the park and raise it 10 feet with landfill. And then they claim they will build a new park on top of that. And we, in our previous plan, our community said, well, if we need flood protection, which we do need, then let's build the wall along the FDR Drive. We don't have to destroy the entire park. In fact, let's use the park as a floodplain. Let's take out the artificial turf and put in real grass again. And that will help it act as a floodplain. That'll support the birds and the insects and the wildlife and the trees. The city wants to cut down a thousand trees in the East River Park. That's every living tree would be gone. And with those trees, the birds, the squirrels, all the uh, all the animals, whatever's there. So that's that's not a good plan for human beings. It's not a good plan for the the environment. It's not a good plan for the planet. Now, why why are we faced with this situation in the on the East River? Well, because sea levels are rising. Why are sea levels rising? Because of our continuing emission of greenhouse gases. So what we pointed out is that the biggest source of greenhouse gas emissions in our community is, guess what, the FDR Drive, okay? So why don't we think about how we can include the FDR Drive in a resiliency plan? Can we bring in electric buses, non-polluting buses, to serve the residents of the Lower East Side and East Village communities who live along the shoreline, who don't have ready access to subways? 
I, we propose that as uh, a reasonable plan for the city to consider, and maybe we can build our wall if we need a flood wall in the roadbed because we don't need 100,000 cars coming up and down the FDR Drive every day if we have transportation for the people who live here. We have to make adjustments if we're going to fight climate change. But the city does not hear that. At the, by the same token, if we're going to fight climate change, now is not the time to be building 100-story towers in the Lower East Side. We need as much open space as possible. We need this park right here to stay a park. And maybe we should, maybe we should figure out how to add some more grass. Okay, so these are the things that the city has refused to look at. Instead, they're coming forth with these mega projects that will serve no one in the final analysis because if we don't deal with the issue of climate change, we'll all be gone. Now, we've asked our elected officials, namely Carlina Rivera and our, our councilwoman, to vote against this plan. But like Margaret Chin, she has supported this plan against the wishes of the vast majority of our community. So we're going to be putting pressure on Councilwoman Rivera, uh, Carlina Rivera to take a more intelligent approach to the problem of climate change and saving our communities. Likewise with Margaret Chin. Stop supporting the developers and support the wishes of the community in the Lower East Side. We're going to be back for sure at the Euler process, which I call the usurp process, because they usurp the community board plan. I, excuse me, they cons usurp the community plan in the East Village in our part of and, and Lower East Side for flood protection. That would not destroy the East River Park, and they voted for that on the condition that the city uh, tear up the destroy the park in stages. They said, well, if we could if we could destroy one section of the park, that's okay as long as we need leave an, another section of the park open. What I'm saying is that's a trick back. Don't fall into that phony plan because the city has, first of all, no intention of doing this in stages. They've already said that publicly. Secondly, even if they did do it in stages, it would still end up destroying our park and cutting down a thousand trees and instead of taking five years to do this we'll be out of a park for ten years so forget that whole notion of taking our park demolishing our park in stages we don't want it at all so let's fight continue fighting together for an intelligent plan for the entire community board three and we'll be here to fight with you please continue to fight with us at Sixth Street Community Center our coalition is East River Park Action so if you go to eastriverparkaction.org, you'll find out more information about what we're doing. And we really appreciated the support of this coalition coming to our meetings and giving us that support. And we'll continue to work with you. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. So unless those elected officials still don't understand what we want, we're going to tell them again, right? Do we want towers to be built? No! Are we so stupid to believe that the SAM process will get us what we want? No! What do we want? No towers! Do we want any compromise? No compromise! Do we want the full China Working Group rezoning plan to be passed? Yes! So, we are here also to tell Council Speaker Corey Johnson not to be like Mayor de Blasio and Councilwoman Margaret Chen. Instead, stand with the community, right? Yes! and hope that he can listen to us and meet with us as soon as possible to discuss how to move forward and how we can support our community. Hi. So, next let's welcome Joseph from Elizabeth Street Garden. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, today I see it as a chance to show that we are united against no towers and no compromise. That's what this is about. And what I thought is that today, today I see it as about uniting behind this effort and stopping what I see as an orchestrated divide. When I heard that you guys had your lawsuit, I was so happy because while the lawsuit led by the elected officials may 
point towards a Euler process. We know what a Euler process is. We know that it is not a process of the people. We know that the people's voices get lost in that process. They're ignored in that process. It's not a one-minute testimony in front of city council where they shake their heads and listen to you. No. This is the people's voice, and this stands about the community. So when I heard of this lawsuit, I saw this is the lawsuit of the people. And I asked myself, why are the electeds, why do they have their own lawsuit? Why aren't they standing with everyone? Because that's where they should be, right here, right now, supporting this lawsuit, supporting no towers, supporting no compromise, supporting the people's voice, and supporting passing the Chinatown Working Group plan. So I'm here to show that we're here, united with you. We went through Euler, and we experienced why that is a hijacked process. It is a failed process. Jane Jacobs would be turning in her grave right now through, through Euler. It's about our voice, it's about the voice of the people, and it's about no towers at all, Corey Johnson, no towers at all, Margaret Chin, no towers at all, Bill de Blasio, no towers at all, Carlina Rivera. Thank you so much, and we stand united with you. Thank you, Joseph, for your support. No towers! No towers! No towers! Welcome, Briar from Chinatown Working Group, uh, to say a few words. Briar. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Briar Winters. I'm the co-chair of the Chinatown Working Group, and our community-led rezoning plan was created over a period of many years by over 60 community groups and stakeholders. Um, the plan is the most comprehensive strategy for protecting our entire community from the displacement agenda of Mayor Bill de Blasio, our city council member Margaret Chin, and City Hall's collusion with big real estate. We would not be here today fighting these towers if Chin and de Blasio had stood with our community to pass the full CWG plan. The Lower East Side and Chinatown was excluded from the East Village rezoning, which means that we have been left vulnerable. Rampant real estate speculation and luxury overdevelopment threatens to wipe one of the last working class neighborhoods in Manhattan off the map. NYCHA has fallen into a state of intentional disrepair while private developers circle our public land like vultures, and this problem worsens by the day. Divisions between parts of our community are sown intentionally by our elected officials for their own benefit, and we firmly reject the idea that some parts of our community are more deserving of protection than others. Yeah. We refuse to let them pit us against each other and to force us to negotiate for meaningless crumbs via the Euler process. We are united in demanding no towers, no compromise. No Another tenants from the Truby Juice neighborhood, Arnett. Yeah. Hello, thank you for coming out um, today. This is a warm day, and I appreciate everyone that showed up, including the press. And um, one thing, a couple of things I want to say is, um, although our lawsuit didn't get um, accomplished right away, the stopping of the um, towers. It did give us more time for us to unite and fight, and as well to let everyone know that the fight continues. This is not the end. The petition we have here right now is a time for our voices to be heard once again. The EULA process has stated that is a, the judge basically said that they wanted more community out, outreach or community voice. We have been talking about this, stop, stopping the mega towers forever. Excel Towers was the first time we started to say, well, the community got together and actually saw how awful these plans were to gentrify this area and how it would displace our community. We then said stop. We then spoke to Margaret Chen. We then spoke to the, everyone else that we could possibly ma imagine and told them no. Then with the um, CWG were, um, rezoning plan, they said that was too ambitious. If you look at the model for those three, four buildings coming up, I would say that is ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lot. What we're asking for is not that we're against, we're not asking because we're against elected um, officials. What we're doing is voicing our uh, opinions and our voices and our power because we're against displacement. Yeah. We're not against Margaret Chen. We're against displacement. Yeah. If you are for displacement, we then are against you. Yeah. So we're asking now for our elected officials to stand by the community. We've already spoken. We've already uh, marched. We've already protested. We've already had press conferences. It's a no-brainer. There is no ULEP that the 
that's needed be need that's needed. It's a simple no. The judge gave you another opportunity to redeem yourself. Not stand in line with the developers, not stand in line with Vibney, not stand in line with corrupt elected officials that do not speak to us. That's right. He's giving you redemption and we ask for you to stand up. Not only do we ask, we demand yeah. that you speak for us, that you follow us. Do you, do you don't work for de Blasio, you work for us. Yeah. And as your constituent and boss, we're telling you, no towers, no compromise. Once again, we have a petition here. If you also like to go online to our People's First, we can also find, you can also find the petition online. For those that are not here today, spread the word. The fight is not over. That's right, that's right. This lawsuit only um, delayed our justice. It's not justice. It is time for us to rise up again, just like Puerto Rico. It's time to get in the streets. It's time to demand our elected officials to stop the madness. The community has already spoken. There is no need for deliberation on this. It is over. The mega towers should not go up. We've already stated our health issues, mental issues, displacement. There is no more words need to be said except for no towers, no compromise. The developers said the same thing to you and you compromised. You sat at a table as if you had some leverage on us. We are not bonds. We are people and we said no and we're standing by it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Arnab, for a wonderful, wonderful closing speech. Um, so this is the end uh, of our press conference. So if anyone wants uh, more questioning and answering, we're going to uh, stick around for a little bit longer. But we also continue the petition in the neighborhood. So thank you very much, and uh, to be continued. Oh.